Um, someone's asking, can you make all magics usable underwater? Is there any plans to do that? No. Um, there will be, like, you know how Real Hendrix teaches you dodge reflexes? Eventually there will be a way to learn how to, like, waterproof your spells for magics that don't work underwater, but I don't know when that'll be. Probably in Nimbus sometime. Yeah, okay. Might be near the end. So, next question on the list would be, will there ever be custom key bindings? Probably eventually, but Tiny time it's right like now. a lot of uh, UI work and like, I don't know, it's just really tedious to add to an update right now. All right. Will you add any new types of weapons in the future, more strength weapons? Yeah, we want to add more like scythes and stuff. It's just, I don't really want to add new types when the existing types don't have all their skills still, so. Yeah, fair enough. Will there ever be voice acting in AO? Probably not, just cause like there's so many lines of story and like for example, if we got like a voice actor from Morden, they'd have to be like with us through the game for like years and years to keep voicing his like future lines and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. At best you can probably do bosses. <clears throat> yeah. Conceptually it'd be really cool, but we don't know how to do it in a efficient way for it not to be cringy. Yeah. Like the best you can do is probably just the bosses and that's it. Would you make or add any new base magics in the future, or are they all established? Nah, I'm done making uh, base magics and variations for them. Okay. Would you ever add land animals and monsters? Yeah, we want to eventually, but probably not till like, I don't know, after this year. Okay. Is there a reason why there is no PvP toggle? Uh, pretty much just because we feel like most people would have it off and then like there would be no PvP really. I see. Um, will, will we ever be able to switch our first magics? Like uh, how other builds can like kind of switch their fighting styles and weapons? Yeah, but I don't really know when that'll be. Okay. Will there ever be mobile support or console support? Probably not either, honestly, because um, there's just like so many controls you'd have to do. Like for mobile, it would be possible, but it wouldn't be pretty. Like there'd be probably seven buttons on your screen overlapping like all the UI. Yeah, that'd be kind of dead. Will private servers ever be a thing in AO? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Just because, like, there's so many things you could abuse with that. Yeah. Can physics be added to ships so you don't fly backwards when you jump? Um, I saw Rail Seas added that, but I just don't really see the point in a game like this, because if you think about it, like, if you get attacked on your ship, you're probably just going to stop your ship anyway. Like, why would you want to keep fighting on it while it's moving and have it, like, crash into something? Yeah. So I don't really see the point. I don't yeah. know. Will you add like a whip or chain like weapon in the future? We wanted to so bad. We just don't know how to like properly make it. Yeah, we'd probably need like a modeler to make something like that. And probably like animated as well. Yeah. How will you approach alternate files in the future when there are higher level caps? Will there be like level boosts or skips or anything of that sort? That's a Yeah, good so someone had a, an idea for that. I think it was headless, but I might be wrong. That um, eventually, like in the future, say the level cap is like 250. If you played through the story on one file, you would be able to buy like a product on your other files to say like boost you to level 150 or uh 100 with like basic gear and stuff and like skip part of the story i see and we would probably add those for like different level uh stages like 100 200 
Yeah, fair enough. First right, question then. on the document is, are there plans for seasonal events in the future? Like any, um, any new ones specifically? Not any plans, but we will do more. I just don't really know when. I guess we're just going to have to wait off to the holidays or something. Ideally, we wanted to do a Christmas or Halloween event, but we wanted to give that time to properly get the first part of Nimbus out, just so y'all have more content. I felt like that would be more enjoyable for everybody. Yeah, yeah cause like, I don't want to stop working on content and stuff to do an event update when the game's like in early access. Yeah, plus it'll just be gone in, a, in like a, like what, two weeks? So. We just prioritized prioritized uh, content over an event this time around, but we do want to do more. We do want to do more. There you go, guys. Will you add? Would you ever add like voice chat to uh, AO? Yeah. So I've been wanting to add voice chat, but Roblox has not had an API for it, which means like. If you want to add it to your game, you have to have that stupid little mute bubble above the character's head constantly. But I do think they added an API for it recently, but I'm not sure. So if they did, I'd want to add a mute button like in the top left or something rather than it being like constantly on screen. That's like the reason I've never added it is just because I hate that thing. Yeah, it really breaks immersion. Yeah, I know some uh, some like Roblox versions have the mute button on the top left as like a option. But yeah. What is the name of the fourth C? Fourth C? Yeah, so like the fourth C, I guess, in the um the war C's. We, we don't have say. an official name for it technically yet, but isn't for now, just call it the Azure C. The what like, C? Isn't that the placeholder Aegean? Yeah, that's right, the agency. She, I she. Will the Dark Sea ever be expanded on more? Will there be bosses and new island types? Yeah, so the plan is after each sea's story is done, there will be like another Dark Sea update, which adds like more types of enemies, more features, and like new items to get for that level. So like after Nimbus, we would add like level 250 items or so to it. And um... Yeah, it would just be like a constantly expanding thing over time. That's pretty sick, actually, yeah. What is the first lost magic you're planning to add? And will it be added all at once or just one at a time? Uh, we don't have like a set one we're going to add first. But um, yeah, there would be a bunch added at the same time. I don't know about all of them because they will be... Like, there will be new Lost Magics being added, like, regularly. It's not, like, a set list or anything. Alright. And, uh, our last question on the document is, uh, how do spirit weapons exactly work? And I think you answered this earlier, but if you want to answer it again, you can... You can. Yeah, so they are objects that were blessed by the gods, uh to reward to their most devoted followers and they allow humans to control spirit energy which so in the verse there's spirit energy and magic energy and um magic energy is the energy of chaos and spirit energy is the energy of creation and the gods can control both of those but humans can only control magic energy because that's what the gods like gave them like prometheus gave humans the ability to control magic energy so uh like regular humans can't control spirit energy at all unless they have a spirit weapon which you can still find like in the world like to this day in the present in the game but it's not like a power that is common like it's not as common as finding someone who can use magic because they rely on using like super old relic weapons uh I see a question that could be valid how many boss fights will we experience next update in the nimbus c part one there will only be one boss fight it's just the one 
No, the main reason why Nimbus, the part one update, is, it, uh, is taking so long is because we had to build an entire kingdom I island. Yeah, and you can see this. And it's the largest massive. one we've ever done. Yeah. It's the largest one. I don't know if we I can put turn it side around, by side but... to Ravenna. <laughs> oh, you can turn around if you'd like. All right. Go for it. It's just we put it side by side to Ravenna, and <laughs> it dwarfed it. Yeah, it's uh, this island's very huge. <laughs> Are there any more story islands the size of uh this island? Yeah, so in the next sea, there's an island that's like even bigger than Samiria, probably twice oh as big. Twice, yeah. <laughs> and it's um, Jotunheim, the land of the giants. Jotunheim will be... It'll be beautiful, but y'all will have to give us some time to, that one's gonna, you know, yeah. finish it. Yee. That's huge, man. It's going to be beautiful, though. We have a, a amazing plan, a amazing plan for it. Will we ever get an animal-like boss, like a big spider or anything of that sort? Probably mm. not as like a story boss, but when animals are added, eventually, I think it would be cool to have like legendary beast, uh, like boss fights. Like say, um, an island has like a enormous bear that was like irradiated by magic or something yeah that'd be sick gotta get a wolf in there too of course you said the wolf <laughs> <laughs> maybe a lion or two will we see magics getting unique moves move sets locked to magics nah so the like the whole point of like the magic and like fighting style system in this game is that instead of locking like certain abilities to certain magics i want it to be that like you can use whatever and that eventually the like amount of lost spells and stuff is just so much that everyone is like different and i don't think we're there yet just because like there's not enough rare spells so people do have like similar loadouts still but yeah that's why there's not unique movesets Plus, I don't think you'd be able to even think of, like, what, seven unique spells for the 20 base magics, however many lost magics, etc. Plus, I feel like that kind of takes away from the creativity of the players. Yeah. It's cool to see them find little med little metas in the, in the creation. Mm -mm. When's Nimbus C Part 1 dropping? Hopefully this month, but... It's been rough, like, the past few days I've been, I was working on a feature that I had to completely scrap because I just kept running into, like, roadblock after roadblock and, like, setbacks. So, yeah, it's just been rough. Will Prince Ravon be, in, be a future boss? A future boss? Like another again, I guess. I mean, he'd have to leave the Bronze Sea to do that. <laughs> I mean, he did say he would hunt the player down for all eternity, so... True, but we don't know... What you will. Who knows what happened with that? Take that as you will. I couldn't read it in time, but someone asked, like, about the sensing ability. So the reason that has taken so long is just because I wanted to make it so each build has their own, um... Unique perk from sensing. And some of them involve, like, ghost ships and legendary ships. So I didn't want to add sensing until, like, it could be the full feature. But it would probably be added... Or wait, it was on the roadmap somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's planned for full release. We're, it's gonna it's gonna get done. It's just, we... yeah. It's on, it's on full release. <laughs> I see people asking questions like, will civilians be able to move and will they be killable like in World of Magic? Probably not. If I ever added, like, moving NPCs again, they'd probably just be, like, client-side, like, atmospheric ones in towns. Because having them be, like, server-sided and, like, constantly moving is just, like, so much extra, like, performance for not really adding much. Plus, people typically grief the vendors in World of Magic, so you'd have to wait so long just to buy something. Uh, that does get annoying. 
Someone's asking your opinion on the community. Um, I don't know. I don't usually interact with the community just for like my sanity. But <laughs> I think I like the community. I think there's some just like some. It's like all communities. There's bad parts. There's good parts. Yeah. Same page. It's it. There's good. There's good parts. There's. It's nice interacting with the good parts of the community. I mean, the other servers are, or the other official servers have a decent little, like, following, and it's cool to see them interact. I mean, they're it's pretty. I mean, they're cool. But you know, there's always some portion of the community that will always be cringe. Yeah. And that's with any game, and it's unfortunate, but it's not everybody. There's a magic and one right there little projectile that you throw out and then just like one shot of poor level 40 is that a normal cutlass or what is that I've never seen that oh it's the um boss cutlass oh, okay. oh it's uh <clears throat> um <laughs> i didn't know you had that equipped yeah, i didn't i didn't i never got that one so me neither i didn't know i had it equipped <laughs> i just throw on whatever into you <laughs> Someone's asking, will Seeley be official and yield the in-game titles? Uh, we wouldn't make, like, an, an unofficial tournament thing official, but... Yeah, the whole reason, like, Elysium was made is so that there could be, like, official tournaments that give in-game rewards, but... Ooh. I'm not sure when that'll be started. Just because, like, the whole balancing thing has to be sorted first. This is okay. kind of a good one. Will our crew be able to fight back? Probably not ever, just because... Like, I wanted to add it, but I don't think it will ever be a thing. Just because... Like, it would be so chaotic to have, like, basically 20 versus 20 NPCs. Like, I don't think it would look good in terms of, like, gameplay. Plus, it'll be really intensive on lag. But we do have an idea for, um, like, with island building, you may be able to station your quartermasters there to, like, guard your islands. I was just about to say that. That's probably the closest so, we'll get. Yeah. Will you guys ever add new organizations like Grand Navy and Assassin Syndicate that players can join? That's a good one. There is one more that we have planned, but... Is it a spoiler? Uh, not really, no. Not really. I had to uh, think. I will say it's the same group that runs the, uh... The Agora. Agora, yeah. Which, I mean, that sounds pretty dumb. It's like a newspaper thing, but trust me, they are really cool. They're really cool. They, they are... Just write newspapers. <laughs> they do more than yeah. just write newspapers. <laughs> It's also why that the information in the Agora is completely non-biased. It just states what happened. Instead of, like, Kingdom having their own say or, you know, anything. They give true information out to the world. 